trying to get you to shut your mouth. By kissing me? Got your attention, didn't it? You haven't done that. In a very long time. I know. Why now? I told you I don't want you marrying that man. Because you don't like him or you don't trust him? Well, I do, Ridge. I do. Brooke, it's... There's more to it than that. Yes, I know. It has to do with the children. Well, you want to know something? They're my children, too, Ridge. Do you think I would subject him to some man that wouldn't make a wonderful father? I know James is going to be that. Well, he's never convinced me of that, Brooke. Well, he doesn't have to. The hell he doesn't. That's my daughter living in the house. Yes, and you want to know something? James is going to live there, too. This is all pointless, Brooke. Because it's not about the kids. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Maybe you're right. Maybe James will be a great parent. But I don't want to argue about that, because frankly, it's irrelevant. Oh, it is? Yeah. And so what is relevant here? I mean, what, what are you really doing here, Ridge? What do you want from me? What are you after? What I'm after, Brooke, is... Brooke, I just met with the justice. He's just leaving. No, he isn't. I want to know what's going on here. I'll tell you what's going on. Oh, stop. Enough already. This isn't going anywhere. Ridge, I want you to leave. James and I are getting married. Wait a minute. What are you saying? You came here to stop us from getting married? That's the picture. You've got to be mad. Brooke, will you listen to me? No, she will not listen to you. She's listened to you enough. We all have. We've tried to understand and empathize. We've bent over backwards to make you welcome into our home, into our family. But enough is enough. You don't have a home with this woman, James, or a family. Well, all of that is about to change, my friend. Not if I can help it. I can't believe this. I can't believe you have the audacity to come here. You know, you need help. No, I don't need help. I know exactly what I'm doing now. Brooke, if you marry this man, it won't last six months. Why not? I don't even answer that. Ignore him. He's determined to tear us apart, but that's not going to happen. Now, either you walk out of here right now, or else I'll call security and have you thrown out. You go ahead and make your call, James, because I'm not leaving. Hello. Operator, this is James Warren. Connect me with security. James, wait a minute. 